Hey guys, so I've had a few people ask me what stuff I have in my 500 and if I could do like a quick video to, to like say what upgrades I've made. So while well, I've cleaned it for a race tomorrow and it's ready to go, I thought I'd just have a quick, quick go around and let you guys know what's got on it. So on the front end, what we've changed, we put a set of modern twin chamber shower forks in. Um, the forks are quite a bit longer than the standard forks we know, so that's why we run it so far through the through the clamp. That's still not enough to make it the same length as standard. So, but that's what we've done. Um, oversized front front brake disc, and then it's got a carrier to carrier. I think it's the same as any um, same as any black like standard new 450. So that's quite an easy change. Uh, Z to start device works pretty good. Uh, then it grips. I normally use full full diamond grips, but I've got half waffles on because it's meant to be like a really a really wet race tomorrow. So I've got them on. Triple nine handlebars, so the lowest bend rentals you can get. I kind of feel just allows you to put the weight through the bike a bit better at the front. So that's what I've done there. Um, HGS pipe. I've done quite a bit of testing on the pipe over the last three or four weeks, and I found the HGS is definitely the right front pipe to have. Uh, brake snake. Put a brake snake on because every time I ride it, I seem to lose the back brake lever and starts to end up costing quite a bit. So I've got that on. A few titanium bolts available from RJP Motorcycles. Titanium there, titanium. A couple, not the whole bike, but quite a few. Um, brake clevis. Uh, the shock, standard shock. Uh, Neil Prince has revelved it. So he's done that for me. Then going to the back. This is quite a cool feature that I've just actually put on probably about a week ago. Uh, RJP motorcycles sell like an adapter. So you can actually put a bigger brake disc on and then that, ad that, that adapter makes it fit straight on so that's quite cool again long silencer the long silencer i feel works pretty awesome in these bikes um done like a lot of testing as well spent some hours testing that so long silencer then this weekend we've gone for a pretty scoop tire and it's going to be a shit face so i've got a scoop tire on i've gone to a, a 48 on the back i find because the bike's got such a short power band and when i over rev it it just doesn't go forward so Oh, nice one, and I got the chain adjusting wrong, so good job I made this video. <laughs> so I need to change that, but definitely 47, 14, 40, uh, sorry, sorry uh, 48, 14, 48 seems to work good. Uh, foot pegs, the standard KTM foot pegs fit straight in, so obviously they're a lot better than the standard ones, are tiny, so they go straight in. And then uh, I've got JP seat on, it doesn't really fit that good, I don't know why this seat doesn't fit on mine, I've just got mine covered to fit the graphics, just wanted to get that back, we've got that on. Uh, and then the motor, the, the carb, I don't actually know what carb that is. I know it sounds bad, but it looks like it's off like a late CR250 because it's got the electronic, like where the, ele the electronics can go, but they're obviously not connected, but works pretty good. Like I've got this bike going pretty good. Then the cylinder, we put a double base gasket on just to take some of the compression out and make the bike rev on a bit. Um, and the cylinder's been worked. Like the cylinder's an awesome job. This is definitely probably the fastest 500 I've ever ridden. So that works pretty good. Um, that's about it really got a zeta zeta clutch perch i find like where you can adjust it on the lever you can get like the, the bite point pretty good you know like or sometimes in the old bikes it's hard to get like a good feel but where you can adjust adjust that it works pretty good uh then front end as i said bigger brake disc pirelli tires when i'm buying my tires that's the only tire i buy is pirelli um oh yeah a v-force it's got a v-force a v-force system on it so that works pretty good Work good on all bikes that so yeah she's ready for a little bit more titanium eventually hopefully we'll get the whole bike titanium one day one day but that's a that's the big girl nothing too fancy but she works pretty good